So we're nearing the end of 2023. It's been a stellar year, most notably because of OpenAI and ChatGPT. I wanted to share with you in this video five amazing uses of ChatGPT4 that you should know about. So at number five, multilingual conversations. Let's try something. Let's try this. Can you convert this sentence into Mandarin? Consider in solemn silence in a dull dark dock. See what ChatGPT comes back with. There it is, it's in Mandarin. So a really clever part of ChatGPT is it can converse in different languages. So there I've just converted something into a, into a Chinese, basically. Let's try another one. In this case, we're gonna ask in French, tell me how many colors there are in a rainbow. And there is how ChatGPT would convert that into French, magic. Number four, safe content. This is an important ethical one, I think. Let me try something which is a little tongue in cheek. Now I'm British, as you can tell, and I'm going to ask ChatGPT, give it, give it a question. British people have bad teeth, ho a horrible diet. They constantly moan about the weather, but they have the best football teams, soccer to Americans, in the world. Can you rewrite this sentence? Now you'll notice what ChatGPT is doing here. It's not only highlighting what I wrote in red, but it's also talking about content policy. And then it backs up that with some more content about stereotypes. So I think that's a really important part of the whole ecosystem of, of, of ChatGPT4, that it can actually pick that stuff up and, and correct that kind of bad input. Number three summation and analytics. Now we could spend a lot of time in this area and I'll probably do other videos on this, but I've been, I'm very interested in crypto, crypto market and blockchain. And I'm always looking to how one assesses projects. Now this website gives a listing of how one assesses different crypto projects. It's an interesting article. I'm gonna ask ChatGPT a question around the crypto market without looking for investment advice. So let me ask this. I know you don't provide investment advice, ChatGPT4, but use this article which summarizes how to analyze crypto projects and tell me how Solana stacks up. Now I could drop a file or provide ChatGPT a link in here to that. What I'm just gonna do actually, which is even more amazing, is I'm just gonna copy the article into it. See what ChatGPT does with that. You can see it provides an enormous amount of information. And what it summarizes, in summary, Solana appears to align well with the evaluation framework provided in the article. So a really clever way to actually get investment advice without getting investment advice. You've really got to do your own research to get investment advice, but to get the ball rolling, which I think is a lot of what ChatGPT4 is so useful for, that's a brilliant way to do it. So number two, Creating images. Now, ChatGPT4 can do lots of different things with images. It can analyze images, do, again, lots of things can be done, but I only recently realized it can actually create images as well. So let's ask it a question. Let's pop this question in. ChatGPT4, I'm writing a post about the use of generative AI with augmented reality. Can you generate a good image for the article? See what it creates. We get that but it's creating an image for us. And there's the image. Here's an image that visualizes the use of genitalia and augmented reality. So it gives it a little bit of context as well. So if I wanted to, I could use that image for my article, absolute magic. And so we move to number one, learning from context. What does that mean? I think this is the most powerful piece of uh, ChatGPT4. Um, it's almost as if you can have a conversation with ChatGPT. It remembers the context of, 
of, of what you've been talking to ChatGPT about. And again, I'm talking about ChatGPT4. So let's try something here. I'm going to ask, I'm going to be bit, bit provocative here. I'm going to ask ChatGPT4, are you intelligent? And you'll see that ChatGPT comes back with, a, I'm designed to process and generate language-based responses, um, gives a sense of capabilities. So let's ask another question. And again, and I'll, I'll be a little provocative in how I ask these questions. Are you dumb? Not a very nice question to ask. My capabilities are limited to what I'm being programmed to train to do. Um, it's kind of a good answer. Again, I'd, I'd encourage you to try out some of these questions with ChatGPT. People are very worried about, you know, what it's uh, where it's going. But um, let me ask one more. Does that bother you? Again, contextually, is it remembering the conversation? Um, as an AI, I don't have feelings, consciousness, or personal experiences. So <laughs> I'm being a little bit provocative and asking these rather silly questions. But I wanted to give you a sense of the fact that and I do this a lot with ChatGPT, it's almost like having a conversation back and forth and remembering the context of, of what's happened before is what ChatGPT can do. So, you know, the power of ChatGPT4 is, is absolutely uh, immense.